Hey trolls and trollettes, how's everybody doing today? Trolling here. Uh, last time we left off, I was working on the spawner, and I told you guys that I'd show you what the spawner looked like in like a 2D area. Basically, let me explain this. The spawner room's right here. This would be the spawner itself, this moss stone block. And uh, they would go down into this trench here, travel over here, and up this tower thing. Now this tower is just sign water, sign water, but it goes all the way up until it reaches about 23 blocks. Maybe it'd be 26 because it would go down a few. But then, yeah, like I said, it go, it travels down this current down here, and then oh, there's supposed to be a block here. Whoops. But this is basically where the uh, mob would end up, and I would just. Uh, hit their feet and they'd be dead so yeah that's the uh, design that I wanted to show you I will meet you guys back in our world alright guys we're back now the spawner I was testing it it was a, it's kinda slow but it does work so I'm not really complaining all that much but, uh, yeah. I just heard a skeleton already, so I don't know if you guys did. And there's a cave around here somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but, yeah. I hear zombies all the time and a few creepers, but they haven't bothered me, so I don't really care too much. Um, the spawner is right behind this wall, if you couldn't tell. The moss stone is right here. This is actually our entrance up that we came in from beneath the spawner, if you remember. So, uh, eventually I'm going to try and make a, like, a tram down here, or a train. Oh, look, we got one. Now, this skeleton is one hit, maybe two sometimes, if you're unlucky, but one hit. There we go. Get XP, and I'm going to start collecting bones and arrows for bone meal and for bows. And yeah, this is going to be a good time, guys. But right now, I'm going to grind nine more levels, and I'm going to do a level 30 enchant for you, alright? We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I got my 30 levels, and I'm ready to go do a little bit of enchanting here. Uh, I think... Huh... Whatever it is, it's definitely going to be diamond armor. Yeah, let's make the chest plate. Start off with the most expensive item first. Now, I'm looking for a good protection and a fire resistance. For sure, because... That's definitely just going to be a perfect nether armor. And nether armor is what I'm going for here. I really want something that's going to... Oh, freak, I forgot that I moved it. You guys are probably like, where is it going? I think, you... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Fail moment right there. I can't believe I forgot I freaking moved it. Alright guys. I'm going to do the old uh, save and reload if, until I get what the, whatever I want. So again, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got a fire protection. And I'm seriously debating on changing it. It's fire protection 4. I mean, that's the best you can get in the Xbox, but... I don't know, I mean, that's really good nether armor, really good, but I was really hoping for at least a, a protection or a, a fire protection in one other aspect. I mean, it only has one aspect on it, and I know that's, uh, um, I'll keep it, why not? Alright, this is going to go in epic gear, because we're going to be saving that
So we need a helmet, pants, and boots. Alright. I, for whatever reason, think I ran out of bread. Like I'm completely out of bread and I'm right. So I'm going to go harvest that. You know what? I did say that was going to be a temporary farm, and I did mean it. Hang on just one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Got a little interrupted. Um, we were working on the uh, farm, right? Yeah, we were going to start working on the farm because I needed more bread. So, let's start with getting some dirt. Where's my blocks? There they are. And this is going to be a lot of dirt. So, I mean, this area right out in front of the house looks pretty nice. We should, I say we just util utilize this area. Why the heck not? I'm going to do it. I don't even care. I'm just going to do it. Stuff's going to happen. Miracles are about to be made, guys. Alright, I am actually gonna... I'm gonna try something new with my fast-forwarding. Uh, something that somebody recommended to me. And, uh, I'll be right back with you guys.
So Yeah. I definitely am pretty much an idiot, guys. I want to let each and every one of you know that because I muted my mic during the speed up so that nothing I say would be like I don't even know why I muted my mic during the speed up, but I did. And this entire time while I'm sitting here talking to you, pointing at stuff with my cursor and I'm talking, you guys don't hear a single word that I'm saying. So, I apologize for the derp. Anyway, let me try this again. Finally the farm's done. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. I was thinking about moving this entrance over to here. Because, uh... I don't know, I think it looks better, but this way I feel like it functions better because we can walk right in, go along to the side like this instead of having to be over there first, like we had it in the other farm. So, let me know in the comments whether you think I should turn it or keep it as it is. And uh, I'm going to go start harvesting the other farm, getting all the wheat from that, turning all that into bread. And soon I'm going to be able to bone meal a whole new farm, the whole thing, because... Uh, just sitting there for a little bit at the spawner gave me quite a few bones. I have no idea if I'll be able to do it right now. Probably, actually. But I left the bones down in the spawner. I made a chest. And I put them in the spawner because eventually there's going to be a cart that goes down there. So, you know, and I'm not in a hurry for the uh, bow anyway. Because I only really use the bow when I'm in the nether. So, we still got plenty of levels to go before that happens. Alright, so, let's see. Gonna need a new project now, now that the farm's done. Um, well, first of all, we're gonna turn all this into bread. Because I am running low on food as we speak. Going to put all this in here. It's everything right. Miscellaneous gets sticks. Minerals gets coal. Wood. Cobble. Sand. Dirt. More cobble. Torches. Food. Tools. But tools will be putting, getting put away soon. And I really don't like using meat for food because that. Yes, it's renewable, but bread is a lot easier. I mean, I have plenty of meat to use. I just prefer to use bread for the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and put all that away. And I'm going to... put my map away. My torches away. I hear a zombie. Axes, picks. Alright, now we're ready to start a project anew. I think we should make more bookshelves for the enchanting room. So I'm going to cut down some of the sugar cane here. We should make a proper sugar cane farm too, but that'll be for another episode because we are just about out of time here. So after I make these bookshelves, I'll try and make it real quick. Um, we are going to cut the episode here, guys. Question of the day for you guys is going to be... What is your favorite thing about Minecraft? Favorite anything that you could possibly think of? What, what do you like about Minecraft? What makes you attached to it? For me personally, I should probably have thought of that question better myself before I tried to answer it. Um, I honestly am not sure what I like about Minecraft. I just, I love everything about it. The only bad thing about it is the ghasts and the nether, but they're there to make it challenging, so I guess they kind of balance out. I mean, there's really nothing that I don't like about the, the game. It's amazing. It pretty much surrounds my life. Um, <laughs> there we 
go. Um, I guess the thing that I would have to like most about the game is the potions and the enchanting. I know that's two things, but, well, aside from redstone, I mean, redstone is my overall thing that I love, absolutely love, and, uh, I actually just made a design for Portcullis, which is really, really cool, but it's kind of, a uh, it's kind of cheap the way that I did it, but... It it is my design, so I'm not worried about it. I mean, I'm not the best person at Redstone. I'm good at memorizing designs and stuff that people have made, but I really struggle making my own. Like, I can improvise stupid little things, like uh, making one wire out of place or making a few wires out of place that don't belong there or something, like on a design that won't work in the Xbox version yet. I've done that a few times, like with elevators, and uh, actually this 3x3 three three door is the very same one I had to make a few changes in, but they work now. They didn't when I first started using it. But this portcullis thing that I made is the biggest thing that I've ever made, and it's amazing. So I'm really happy about it. I don't know, maybe I'll showcase it. Maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, guys. Have a great night, uh, day, whatever it is where you are, and, uh, yeah. Keep on scrolling.